Welcome to 20 Minute Tech Tips, our podcast series where we highlight a software feature or task in around 20 minutes. I'm Liz. And I'm Rachel. And for this episode, we are talking about a couple of brand new enhancements to FS Companion. This is a feature that we added several months ago when we released JAWS Zoom Text Infusion 2025. And it's our AI tool for learning JAWS, Zoom Text, and other applications such as the Microsoft Office applications like Word, Excel, Outlook, and also tasks such as browsing the web. So we have a couple of new enhancements that we just released that coincided with our March update of JAWS Zoom Text Infusion. One has to do with opening FS Companion using Voice Assistant, and the other has to do with a new dictate button that allows you to ask questions using your voice. Before we delve into that though, let's talk a little bit about what FS Companion is for anyone who may not have used it yet. And for those of you who haven't tried it, FS Companion is an awesome new feature. Just in case you haven't tuned into any of our trainings previously, let's quickly go over what it does and how you use it, basically. FS Companion is built into JAWS or Fusion 2025, but you can still access it even if you don't have the latest version. Now, if you're in the latest version and you want to access it via keyboard command, it's a layered command. You can use insert space followed by the F1 key, and it'll just open a web browser page and take you straight to FS Companion. If you'd like to use FS Companion and you don't have the latest version, you can still try it out, and we definitely recommend you do, by going to your browser and typing in fscompanion.ai. From there, you'll be able to type in your questions or use the dictate button like Liz mentioned. And before we get into that, though, what is FS Companion? It is essentially the, the trainer in your pocket, so you can put in your questions and whether you're just trying to remember a simple keyboard command or step-by-step -step instructions, FS Companion is our AI that we are training in all things Freedom Scientific software products. Those questions that you may not remember the answers to, the keyboard commands that you don't use as often, you can pop FS Companion open or leave it open really and just put in your questions and use your reading keys just like you would on any web page to get your answers. So that's a brief overview of what FS Companion is. I'm going to hand it back to Liz to talk about the latest. All right. And yes, definitely check that out. Like Rachel said, we're going to open it from JAWS today for this demo, but you can go to fscompanion.ai. Just a couple of things to note, though, and I, I do want to mention this before we actually get into the demo. If you're accessing it from JAWS or Zoom Text, it's going to know when you ask a question that you are either using JAWS or Zoom Text. So if I ask it, how do I change the voice rate, for example, if I'm in JAWS and I'm accessing it from JAWS and I say, how do I change the voice rate? It knows that I'm accessing it from JAWS and so it is going to give me the instructions to change the voice rate in JAWS. Same thing with Zoom Text. Now, if you're on the website, however, if you go to fscompanion.ai, you may need to specify which product that you want to change the voice rate for because when you're on the website, you're not accessing it from either of our software products, so it doesn't know which one that you're wanting to ask about. All right, with that, let's talk about these new enhancements. The first one I want to mention is how to open FS Companion using Voice Assistant. Now, Voice Assistant is a tool that we added several years ago that allows you to use your voice to do things like open setting center, get the time, open certain applications, things like that. And so we have added the ability to open FS Companion using Voice Assistant. So if you can't remember the, the keyboard command, for example, that insert space or caps lock space if you're using laptop layout, followed by F1, if you can't remember that, you can use Voice Assistant. All right, to do that, I'm going to say hey, and then the wake word, which I'm using JAWS, so I'm going to say hey, followed by Sharky, and I'm going to ask it to open FS Companion. All right, let's give it a try. Hey, Sharky. Open FS Companion. 
Yeah, hello there. I'm excited to help you learn more about JAWS. All right. Now, what happened here is it opened FS Companion, and it's going to look just like the website. The difference here is that it opens in the JAWS results viewer. So from a JAWS perspective, we use a results viewer a lot of times to display things like keyboard commands, uh, you know, different pieces of information that we ask JAWS that we use keyboard commands to present on the screen that are just JAWS related, for example, things like Picture Smart AI and some of our other tools. So this is no different, and but it's going to look just like the website that we're using when we go to fscompanion.ai. So what you heard is it started to say FS Companion, but forms mode turned on and it placed us in the edit field where we can ask a question. All right, so the first enhancement we're talking about is how to open FS Companion using Voice Assistant, which we just did by saying, hey, followed by the wake word, which is for JAWS, it's Sharky, and for Zoom text, it's Zoomy, and we said open FS Companion. All right, so we're in the same place that we would be if we accessed FS Companion via the website or keyboard command. All right, the next enhancement that I wanna mention is the dictate button. All right, so when you're in FS Companion, you can type questions here in the edit field. Well, now you have the ability to ask questions using your voice using this dictate button. So you can either tab to it and press space or you can use the keyboard command, Alt, Shift, D, Delta, all right? And that's going to bring up the, that's going to actually allow you to dictate your question. So I'm going to press this command, Alt, Shift, D. FSCompanion.FreedomScientific.com wants to block button. Okay. Now we need to read this dialogue, which we can do using our arrow keys, because what happens the first time you use this dictate button, because it's using a browser environment here, it's asking, well, not because it's using a browser environment, but it is using a browser environment. So we're, what we're getting here is a question from FS Companion that says, hey, do you want to allow access to your microphone? We need to access that microphone in order for you to be able to use the dictate button. Now let's read the actual text here. I'm gonna use arrow keys here. Block button, allow button, use your microphones. All right, I'm gonna up arrow here to get to the first part. We're gonna read it all the way through. Heading close button, close. Okay, now it's a dialogue that popped up. Heading level one FS companion dot freedom scientific dot com wants to use your microphones. Allow button, block button. Okay, so it wants to know do we want to allow it to use our microphones or do we want to block it? Now, again, this is all web-based, so it's asking you, uh, you know, FS Companion wants to use our microphones. We're going to tab to allow. If we choose block, we can't use the dictate button. All right, so we're going to tab. Close button, allow button. And we're going to space or enter on allow. I'm going to enter. Now, when I do this, I'm not sure if it's going to go ahead and activate that dictate button it might and in which case if it does we're going to hear a chime if it doesn't we're going to have to use that keyboard command again now this is something you're only going to have to do once you only have to do it the first time you use it you should not have to do it again after this so if it does if we do hear a chime that indicates that the dictate button is activated i'm going to go ahead and ask it a question using my voice i'm going to ask how do i change uh, the speech rate. All right. So I'm going to ask it that question. Then I will press this keyboard command again, this Alt Shift D. And so let's press space and see what happens. This page is accessing your microphone. Change this setting. How do I change the voice rate? Type your question here. All right. So a couple things happen here. Now, I have on a headset, so this should not have impacted at all, but JAWS was letting me know that my microphone was being used, and then I asked it a question, and then I pressed Alt-Shift-D again. Now we're in the edit field, so we can review our question with arrow keys. How do I change the voice rate? All right, so it did a good job here. So now I can press Enter to submit this question. How do I change the voice rate? 
to change the voice rate in JAWS, you can use the following keyboard shortcuts. 1. Temporarily change voice rate. White bullet. To decrease the voice rate, press Alt plus Control plus Page Down. All right, and it's, it would keep reading, but I pressed Control to make it stop reading here. We can review, and we're going to ask it one more question, then we're going to review the questions and answers. But this is how you use FS Companion. You either type a question or you use Dictate to ask a question using your voice, and then you can review it, which we're going to do. But let's ask it one more question. I'm going to ask it how to create a new style in Microsoft Word. All right, I'm going to press Alt-Shift-D. I'm going to ask the question. We're going to hear a little ascending chime that lets us know that the Dictate button is activated. I'm going to ask it the question, press the keyboard command again. We'll hear that descending chime that lets us know that activate that the Dictate button is no longer activated. This page is act How do I create a new style in Word? Type your question here. How do I create a new style in Word? All right, I can just read that. I can edit that question. And I don't have to specify Microsoft Word because it's like Rachel was saying earlier about how we've trained it on Microsoft and JAWS and Zoom text. It knows Microsoft. It knows that it that's implied there. So I'm going to press enter. How do I create a new style in Word? To create a new style in Microsoft Word using JAWS, follow these steps. 1. Open the Styles pane. White bullet. Press Alt plus H. All right. It's going to give us some instructions. Okay. Let's say we want to read the questions and answers that we have here. Now, I do want to make one really important uh, note here about how this works when you're accessing via the website or via JAWS. If you're accessing FS Companion uh, via the website, you can press either NumLock Plus or Escape, or we can also press Caps Lock Semicolon to turn off Forms Mode, because right now we're in Forms Mode where we can type a question. We need to turn it off to be able to read those questions and answers. I would get in the habit of, I would suggest this anyway, encourage this, of getting in the habit of using caps lock, semicolon, or if you have a numpad, numpad plus. The reason for that is if you are accessing FS Companion via JAWS and you press escape, because it's using the results viewer, it's going to take you out of FS Companion and you will lose the questions and answers information that you have. So, I, I, and I mention this because I use escape all the time when I'm on web pages to exit forms mode. But you can't do that if you're accessing FS Companion from within JAWS because it's using that results viewer. If you're on the website, you can. But so I'm going to press caps lock semicolon. Virtual PC cursor. All right, now the questions are going to be listed. The questions have their own headings here. So we're gonna press the letter H to navigate to the questions. Wrapping to top. Heading level one conversation with FS Companion. How do I change the voice rate? Heading level two. All right, so there's our first question. So we could read the answer by pressing our down arrow key here. Like Rachel was saying, we just use our reading commands to read this information. To change the voice rate in JAWS, you can use the following keyboard shortcuts. One, temporarily change voice rate. White bullet to decrease the voice rate, press Alt plus Control plus page down. White bullet to increase the voice rate, Press Alt plus Control plus page up. And it's going to continue giving us more instruction. If we want to navigate to the next question, we just press H. How do I create a new style in Word? And then we down arrow to read that answer. To create a new style in Microsoft Word using JAWS, follow these steps. And we could keep pressing down arrow. And then from here, we could copy and paste this text. We could ask it more questions. There's even a, a button on this page for new conversation. So if you're asking it a lot of JAWS questions and then you want to switch over to, you know, Outlook questions, for example, or Excel questions, you could place those in a new conversation. Just keep in mind when you do that, that all of the information from this conversation is going to go away. We don't retain any of the data, any of the information that you're getting back or the, the questions that you're putting in, the information you're getting back from FS Companion. So if you want to copy and paste something into a document, you'll want to do that before you either close FS Companion or before you start a new conversation. All right, so that concludes our demo. So we talked about how to access FS Companion using Voice Assistant, and we talked about 
how to use the new dictate button to ask questions using your voice. And if you want more information on those features, you can go to freedomscientific.com, look for the heading software releases, and under that heading, there's a link for JAWS, for Zoom Text, and for Fusion. And so you can go to any of those What's New pages and get more information. All right, before we, we conclude, I think we have one more announcement. We do, in fact, have one more announcement, and that is the announcement that you may have heard of at the beginning-ish of last month, the kickoff of our Insert J Club. Now, this is a really awesome opportunity for us to connect with all of the users of JAWS, ZoomText, or Fusion and get just some more engagement going. So if you haven't joined yet, we have so much planned for the members of the Insert J Club. So check it out at freedomscientific.com forward slash insert J club. You can join there for free. We have several events planned for April. We already gave away several packages of IRA minutes last month. We plan to continue the fun into April. We have an event, a welcome webinar coming up on April 15th. And once you join, you'll begin receiving some emails related to upcoming events. So don't miss it. Join us at the Insert J Club at freedomscientific.com forward slash insert J Club. All right. And remember to go to our training page at freedomscientific.com forward slash training for all the latest information about events, webinars, and more. You can also subscribe to our blog at blog.freedomscientific.com. There you'll be able to enter your email address and just press enter to subscribe. And you'll get all the latest information sent directly to your inbox. And of course, if you have questions or feedback, or you'd like to suggest an event, training event, or a topic for 20-minute tech tips, send us an email to training at vespero.com. That's training at vespero, Victor, India, Sierra, Papa, Echo, Romeo, Oscar.com. We look forward to seeing those emails. Thank you for joining us for this episode of 20-Minute Tech Tips. See you next month.